Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, author of Azon Bestseller, and today I want to share with you something that's incredibly important, and that's the terms of service with Amazon. And the reason I wanted to create this video for you was because I want to make sure that you don't get your account in any way, shape, or form uh, in trouble with Amazon. You see, it's absolutely against the terms of service to compensate anybody in any way, shape, or form for a review of a product. That means if you're self-publishing and you're creating your own books and they're up on Amazon and we all want reviews, they're a critical component to the success we need and want, it's important to realize you can't compensate. You can't, someone, you can't send someone a, a box of steaks or a gift you can't pay somebody. That's compensation. You can't pay for a review. You can't review somebody else's book because you're compensating them when they review your book. Don't do that. Don't put your account in jeopardy. Instead, what you can do is you can get out and make some noise about your book. If you're going to use KDP Select, and I'll talk about that in a future video, you can promote your book in a number of ways that will absolutely garner reviews. Again, we'll talk about that as we move forward. Make a video like this. If your book is about fly fishing or losing weight or maybe Forex, create a video that incorporates keywords that people are looking for, specifically about books, and let people know you've got a new book available. Maybe let them know that it's going to be free if you're going to be using KDP Select, right? and tie in those free days and request people provide feedback. Now, if you request, you're just putting the, the word out there. You're not compensating anybody in any way, shape, or form, and you'll be okay. You won't breach the ser uh, terms of service, and you won't jeopardize your account. And that's so, so very important. Another thing to realize is, you know, stop and slow down long enough to analyze the competition. I see a lot of people with brand new books and they get 60 or 70 reviews, and they're all trading reviews, and they're in a category where most other books have 10 or 20 reviews. If, if most books that you're competing against have 16 reviews, why do you need 50? Doesn't make any sense. So slow down, understand what you're doing, don't put your account at risk, publicize the fact that your book is available, and when you do so, you're gonna have a better chance of driving those reviews that'll help uh, drive future sales and the success of your Kindle program. Hey, I'm Brian G. Johnson. If you haven't picked up Azon Bestseller, it's available at Amazon. It's based on the very strategies I've used to launch numerous number one best-selling books, and I've helped so many people with the very strategies I'm sharing with you today. I hope you get the book. I'll see you soon. Take care. Brian G. Johnson, and I'm out.